two men dominate the Metro Challenge Series. Here at the front of the grid again, it's reigning champion Martin Perrott from Dorchester, alongside Peter Baldwin in car number two from Cambridge. Between them, they've won all 13 rounds this season. It's 7-6 to Perrott, but this was the head-to-head -head championship decider. The early stages, it's Perrott and Baldwin, numbers one and two, out in front, and anyone's title. But then Baldwin's Metro developed problems, and he slipped down the field to sixth. He then did well to avoid this shunt as teammate Martin Short, car 22 from St Ives, takes the flying route through the chicane. Meanwhile, Perrett's still out in front, so it's all or nothing for Baldwin, but in the chase to make up lost ground, his car couldn't take it, a 1.3 turbo engine blows up. Baldwin, champion two years ago, is out of it, leaving Perrett to win the race and retain the Metro Challenge title. The end of the 1989 Formula 3 championships just as close. David Brabham in the Jusen Rolts, hot on the heels of championship leader Alan McNeish from Scotland. This was the one but last round and McNeish had problems. He was left crawling at the front of the grid as Brabham roared away. They had to restart the race without four of the original lineup after a crash on the first lap. Brabham took full advantage of McNeish's poor start, but the Scotsman set a new lap record, almost 119 miles an hour, as he made his way up through the field. It wasn't enough, though, to catch David Brabham, who led from start to finish. He cut McNeish's championship lead to just four points. It all hangs on next Sunday's final round at Thruxton.